we're gonna be ready to do a taste test here pretty soon oh yeah so okay so we're at 150 all right time to take this salmon off give it a taste test and determine our verdict <laughs> stand by <laughs> What's going on? Ant Still Barbecue. This is Anthony. Back at it again. Uh, we're getting on the grill again today, but what are we cooking? So we're going to be cooking some sockeye salmon. So this is going to be a great cook. It's not going to take you that long, maybe 15 to 25 minutes, give or take, for, you know, from the time you put the salmon on until you pull it off. So quick cook. So that's the good thing. You're not going to be out here that long. Uh, but the things you need to know about cooking salmon so we're going to be cooking this on the indirect side so for that we're going to need a two-zone fire yet again um if you haven't seen my last video on making a two-zone fire feel free to click over there somewhere also for my people that aren't already subscribed welcome back it's good to have you i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're watching this episode today uh, go ahead and you know click that like button as well as subscribe so that you can not miss an episode turn that bell notification on uh, so that you know you don't miss out on these great episodes of you know everything barbecue so um again welcome but other than that so two's on fire um so we're going with that we're also going to we want to use a cedar plank so we're going to soak that cedar plank for about 15 minutes and we're going to go inside in a second i'll go over you know how you soak it and what it looks like all that good stuff but two's on fire and a cedar plank that we're gonna soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that's the gist of this. So let's go ahead, we're gonna get our fire set up and then head inside to you know, start soaking that plank and, and season our salmon. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now it's time to soak that cedar plank. So I'll show you basically what it looks like. So I bought this one you know, from my local Kroger. You can see it just says, you know, cedar grilling plank, but you know, you pull it out, it's about this long, basically a two by four. Uh, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this and just simply throw it in our sink, let it soak for, like I said, 15 to 30 minutes, give or take, before we actually put our salmon on the grill. So let's go ahead and do that. So pretty simple. You just fill your sink up with water like I did. Then you just take your plank, you put it in the sink, I recommend putting like a heavy glass bowl on top just to, you know, keep it submerged. You can see that's, you know, obviously up under the water. So we're good to go. We're just gonna let that sit for about 15 to 30, come back to it. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get our salmon prepared to go on the grill. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually going with the sockeye salmon. And so again, I also got that from my local Kroger. So, you know, you can see it looks really good. Nice red color. Uh, we're right at 0.8 of a pound, so, you know, a nice hearty piece. Because this is just going to be my own individual portion, I'm probably going to cut this in half and maybe freeze the rest, so I'm going to do a smaller salmon steak today. But let's go ahead and get this out of the package, get it cut up, season it. I do a light seasoning, but let's go ahead and get all that prepared and go from there. So I just checked my grill. It's actually sitting at 380 right now. So that's a good temp to go ahead and put our meat on the grill. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put my cedar plank on real quick. Let that heat up for probably five minutes. I'd recommend that. Um, just go ahead and get it a little smoky. Uh, and then we can go ahead and throw our meat on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, 
right so we're at the 12 minute mark let's go ahead and take a look at our salmon see what it's looking like Ooh, and it's looking pretty good i must say so you can see we got some fat coming out that's the white spots uh the color looks really good you can see the flaking that's starting to take place. I mean, that's probably really tender right now. But what we're going to do, we're going to run our instant read thermometer to see what our temp is. Make sure it's hit that 145 and then go from there. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right. So our temp wasn't quite where we wanted it to be at at the 12 minute mark. So we let it sit a little longer. So now we're at the 20 minute mark. So we're going to go ahead and check our temp. So salmon looks great as it did before. We just want to make sure that the temp is checking out. So let's see what we're looking like. All right, so let's see, we're at 101.13 right now. So it's rising quickly, which is good. It means that our salmon is definitely gonna be done. We're gonna be ready to do a taste test here pretty soon. Oh yeah, so, okay. So we're at 150, all right. Time to take this salmon off, give it a taste test and determine our verdict. <laughs> Stand by. All right, so after 21 minutes of letting our salmon sit on the grill, uh, it's ready to go. It got over a 145, it was a 145 plus internal temp. So it's good and done, it's ready to go. So let's see what our thoughts are. So this is the finished specimen, as you can see here. And off top, I mean, it's flaking really well. So good flaking. That's what I like so far. Just good color. It just looks great. So let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. So the good thing about this salmon is that it's just really firm, like a, like sometimes I've had salmon and it flaked up too much. This one isn't, it's still juicy, but it's a hefty flake. And that's what I like, it's easy to eat. It just presents well, cause it stays together. It doesn't, you know, blow up on you. It's just a good piece of meat. The citrus from the lemon juice is really coming through. The garlic, the garlic, it really goes well with the lemon pepper, with, excuse me, with the lemon juice. They complement each other really well. And then when you throw in the coarse black pepper that I use, the Himalayan, the pink Himalayan salt. I mean, this is just like a really tasty entree this this light you know it's something about eating a light entree that i really enjoy sometimes you know a lot of times i eat something and it's kind of heavy and i just want to chill afterwards this is like i could still go do something i could go to a movie or you know i can go do something after i eat this dinner and that's what i really like about this particular salmon but I want to know, man, I want to know how yours turns out. I mean, this is just well done. Um, just a delight to eat. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. So I want to know how yours turned out. Or if you got any questions about making salmon, I'm here for you. Holla at me. Uh, you know, I comment back to, you know, see what's going on. Love to hear back from you. Let me know how it goes for you. But again if you haven't already go ahead and you know subscribe like the video share with a friend i appreciate you watching want to hear back from you um till next time and still barbecue catch you later